Good evening, folks. How are you doing? This is Tuberville News with some important information regarding Ernie M. Shells and his latest apprehension in Madison County. A Tennessee man was arrested after failing to return a stolen car. Ernie M. Shell, Newport, Tennessee, was arrested on March 28th and charged with receiving stolen property worth $10,000 or more and a third-degree criminal mischief. On March 1st, a deputy with the Madison County Sheriff's Office located a vehicle in the parking lot of Casa Cafe, which was reported stolen out of Ohio. The deputy made contact with the owner of the vehicle and met him the next day. According to the arrest citation, the vehicle's registered owner said Shell was an employee of a company hired to return the vehicle after it had been reported stolen. Texting the citation said Shell picked the vehicle up for delivery, but never returned it. The owner said he attempted to contact Shell on multiple occasions, but received no reply. When Shell finally responded, he allegedly said he was carjacked at gunpoint and asked not to report the car as stolen after the owner said he was going to. When the vehicle was found, the owner gave the investigating deputy permission to search it. Upon searching, they found $500 in damages was estimated to have been inflicted to the vehicle. The deputy made contact with Shell on March 28th during a visit to the district court. Shell was Mirandized and allegedly said he worked for the company the vehicle belonged to and that it was not stolen. According to the citation, Shell denied speaking to the vehicle's owner, including the conversation involving the alleged carjacking and requests not to, for the vehicle not to be reported stolen. Shell was arrested and transported to Madison County Detention Center. Once jailed, Shell allegedly changed his story, which is nothing unusual with Shell, saying he was held at gunpoint and lied about it because the owner asked him to. Folks, where are we going with this story? Where does the lies got to stop? Is the man a criminal, a con? Yes, he is. The facts don't lie. What lies is Ernie M. Shell. The mask maker, not. The wrestling promoter, tried and denied. And the alleged rescuer of children, who is now none of the above. Now he just goes by Ernie Shell, the con man extraordinaire. This is your latest news from Tuberville. God bless each and every one of you. And I hope you have a delightful evening. And remember, there's some of us out here that do care and want to give you the real news, not the Ernie or the Keys news. Stay real, folks. God bless you.